Finally, the Reviewing Network has come back to Monroeville. Yeah, that's right. I, I'm doing, channeling my inner rock because I'm back. I'm back after my week away in North Carolina. And uh, I have some catching up to do, honestly. I have some places I need to go to. Uh, we got to go to Best Buy, of course. We got to go to Barnes & Noble. And I have some movies to catch up on. I finally have to see the Super Mario Brothers movie because I didn't get to see it the last couple of weeks. It's been out. Um... Hopefully everything that's been said about it won't affect my view of the movie, so I'm going to go see that later today. But uh, we have some things that we need to do first. It's raining, it's windy, it's actually kind of damp and dreary, and I like that kind of weather because, as I said before, it's going to be in the 90s in a couple of months. Hot and humid, sticky, so I'd rather have this weather than have to deal with the humid weather later on in the summer. But um, uh, first things first, we need to go to Best Buy because something came out today and apparently there is a bear running around Best Buy and Barnes & Noble and all these stores that is high on cocaine killing people. Actually, no, not really. Um, uh, cocaine Bear came out this week on Blu-ray, or as I like to call it, cocaine Bear. I'm going to abuse the hell out of this joke by the end of the video. So, um, uh, let's go ahead and look and see if we can find the cocaine bear. Let's head over to our first destination of the day, and that is, of course, the bestest of buys. Let's go inside and see if we can go find it. Hi, right, guys. We're inside of Best Buy, and there it is, the legendary... Cocaine bear. They do actually have a number of copies of Cocaine Bear, actually. I was actually kind of surprised at that. Uh, here's the thing, though. I already bought this on Mercari, and I think it's coming later today. So I'm going to hold off on that one now. But there it is, Cocaine Bear, the Blu-ray. I actually have it in store here. I also got Magic Mike's Last Dance, which, I don't know, it actually kind of looks interesting, the fact that it's just Magic Mike this time around instead of everyone else. But... I'm probably going to wait on that one. Let's see what else they have here. I know it's been a couple of weeks since I've been here. Midnight Run on 4K for 29 bucks. Uh, today is mostly going to be figuring out if there's anything here that I wanted to get that is still here. Because I haven't been here the last couple of weeks. We got Star Trek Strange New Worlds. I actually have the steelbook for this. I'll show you that later on. All the next generation 4Ks. All-Star Superman 4K. We got the Disney slips. Uh, eh, let's go take a look at the new releases, then we'll come back over here. Oh my god, yes. I must have this. Actually, I don't know if I really need to have this, but that's pretty cool. Okay, I am seeing some stuff here. Uh, Rick and Morty Season 6 on Steelbook. I actually don't remember if I have Season 5 of Steelbook. I think I do, but I am going to probably pick this up. I also am going to pick up Rebel Without a Cause, because that came out a couple weeks ago. That's part of the Warner Brothers 100th Anniversary set. Batman the Doom that came to Gotham. I got that one at Target in North Carolina, so I don't need to get that one. Still got the Halloween End Steel book, too. I'm surprised by that. That's, that one's kind of hard to find in other videos I've seen, but hey, if you want to get it, it's right here in Monroeville. Got another Steel book here. It's the last one, too. Cool Ham Luke. Uh, there's the regular version. There's Flash Dance, the 4K Steel book, and there is the really nice looking regular version i think i'm gonna pick this up as well i already have this and i'll show you that later on but that's pretty snazzy i think i am gonna pick this one up so there's that one well i was still looking for this one here the maltese falcon but it looks like they're sold out of it well um, you know what honestly that's okay because i've got enough right here and plus we still got barnes and noble so they'll probably have it over there but, uh, yeah, that's the other one I was looking for, the Maltese Falcon. But uh, other than that, though, it looks like everything else is stuff that I've already bought or don't have any interest in getting. So I think we can get on out of here. Just looking around here. Check this out. It's Gar it's a Garfield plush, and Garfield, he's eating, pe he's eating pizza, and he has this look on his face like, oh, what have I done to myself? Like, I don't know if that's really what Garfield would do in this situation. If he, if he had a pizza, he'd probably be, be not like that, like... Oh, God, kill me. <laughs> like, that's funny, though. That's actually pretty funny. I don't know what the price is on it, but if it was if it was something like that, like $11.99, I'd probably get it, but it's probably not that. We're probably thinking, like, $35 for that, but that's pretty cool, though. Okay, I just checked. He's $37, so we're just gonna put, we're just gonna hold off on you for now, but you're only 15 bucks, so you're definitely coming home with me. I changed my mind on you. 
Check this out, we're about to leave this Coraline doll replica, which actually looks pretty nice. That's actually really cool. I would think about getting it, but I think it's also a little bit too out of my price range right now, so I'm gonna hold off on that one so, for now, but that looks pretty cool. It's Bill Nye, the science guy. All right, so we just got out of Best Buy. We saw Cocaine Bear in there. He was he was sedated for the moment, but I'm sure we're going to find him again pretty soon. But um, I did find some stuff. I went in there mostly to go see if they had Cocaine Bear and also to see if they had some stuff that I didn't get to go in there and get the last couple of weeks. But um, I made out pretty well here, as you're about to see. So let's go ahead and start off with this little guy here, which... I did not need to get this, but I wanted it. It's Stitch. At, it's from the end of Lilo and Stitch, where he's playing around in the washer and dryer. He's playing with the dirty clothes, and he puts the and he puts the bra on top of his head and over his ears. His ears. He takes a blanket. He thinks he's a superhero, and then Nani looks at him like, "What the fuck are you doing?" And then, like, I did not need to get this. No, by no means necessary, but I wanted it. It was too. It was too good to pass up on. And for 15 bucks, not a bad price for that. I was expecting a little bit more, considering that this company. Uh, phony and kid robot usually has these for a little bit more than that you saw the garfield once one i saw in there and the Coraline ones those were both going for 35 each so i didn't get those but i did get this one 15 bucks couldn't pass this little guy up so there's that there's the stitch right there uh let me show you the movies now so all the movies in there you pretty much saw already i got rebel without a cause the steel book for that one i got that one there uh actually never seen this movie i've always heard about it never got around to seeing it I think now might be a good time to do it. It's a steel book. It was one of the last ones I picked that up. Uh, so that's Rebel Without a Cause. Uh, next up, we have Cool Hand Luke. This was the last steel book they had there. Even though this one has a loose disc inside of it. Yeah, you can hear that. That's actually from this one here. I thought about not getting it, but I figured, you know what? It's the last one. I don't think this, this is ever going to get a reissue here at this Best Buy. But, um, but you never know. But just to be safe, I grabbed this one. I've never seen this one either, too, so I'm looking forward to checking this one out for the first time. So I grabbed the Cool Hand Luke Steelbook. I did end up grabbing the Rick and Morty Season 6 Steelbook. I do believe I have Season 5 on Steelbook, the one that they had before. I just don't remember when I got it. I think I got it around the same time. I think I, I can't remember if I got it for Christmas two years ago or I got it with my gift card I got for the holiday. But I think I do have it. I just can't remember which video I had it in because I think I did put it in a video. I can't remember which one, though, but... Season 6 right here. Got to pick this one up to complete continue the collection, I should say. <laughs> it's, I, it's, I don't know what's going on right now. Continue the collection. So there's that. Rick and Morty Season 6. And then last but not least, I double dipped on Flashdance. I already bought the steelbook for this. Actually, triple dip because I already have the original Blu-ray release. So I got that one. I got this. New, I got the slipcover here. A nice looking slipcover. The famous scene with the shit with the water and all that. And... Um, Flashdance is a great movie, and it's a great movie for basically one reason and one reason alone. Her right there, Jennifer Beals, man, Jennifer freaking Beals. Like, 40 years of this movie, is it was this movie came out 40 years ago. She still looks amazing. She still looks very beautiful. She's still a very good actress. Anytime I see her in something, I gotta see it. And uh, of course, Flashdance, she's amazing in this. Of course, this took place in Pittsburgh too, so that's kind of another reason why to have this. And uh, I said there was only one reason to like this movie, but there's actually two. The soundtrack for this movie is also pretty amazing. Flashdance, what a feeling. Maniac, great soundtrack overall. I mean, how can you go wrong with this movie? So there you go, that's Flashdance, and that's four movies picked up so far. Off to a pretty good start, so let's go ahead and head off onto our next venture. How are we doing today, George? It's been a while since I've seen you. Oh, that's pretty. Right in front of the tattoo shop. Anyway, our next destination is Barnes & Noble. Let's go inside and see what they've got. Check it out. They actually have the Luke Skywalker Star Wars posters Funko one. I don't know if it's the same size as the Snow White one, but it's probably the same price, though. Yes. I just showed you the price right there, and that happened. 60 bucks for that. Nice, but I think I'm going to slide on that one. The movie section is right over there, and that's where Cocaine Bear should be at. Yeah, I do a sneak attack.
slowly, slowly. Actually, what am I doing? It's just a DVD. There it is, the DVD for Cocaine Bear with the slip cover and everything. 30 bucks, 30% 30 off after that. I think this is also on sale too, because that's what it usually is, but I think I'm gonna double dip. Yes, I am definitely gonna double dip on this one. I'm, there's no thinking about it, I'm doing it. See you Rebel Without a Cause, the regular 4K edition for it. Let's see if we can find the Maltese Falcon. It should be around here somewhere. Well, I did find the Maltese Falcon, but unfortunately it's not the 4K. It's just the regular Blu-ray for 10 bucks, and then the DVD, which is also 10 bucks too. I don't get that. They're both the, both the Blu-ray and the DVD are 10 bucks, but that's not what we're looking for. We were looking for the 4K. I don't think they're going to have it here, but um, I'll keep looking around to see. We do have this Warner Brothers 100th anniversary display here. I thought maybe it'd be on here, but... No, we do have some of the new releases, though. The Scooby-Doo 10 Film Collection, which... Come on, guys. I could have put together a better Scooby-Doo 10 Film Collection than this. So there's that. There's the Looney Tunes Collection. I want to get that one, but I want to wait till I go to Walmart to get the one with the slipcover. Other stuff here. I don't see Maltese Falcon, though. I don't think they're going to have it, which kind of sucks. But that's all right. At least we came after Cocaine Bear and won. Okay, here's the biggest surprise of the day. Duck Dodgers, the complete series. He's on Blu-ray is here. For 55 bucks, though. It's 30% off. But I did not think I was going to find this in stores. I don't know. I think I'm going to get this, too. I'm not too sure, but... I'm actually kind of, I'm honestly shocked that this is actually in stores, but I think I might buy this. Okay, it's $38 online on Barnes & Noble's website, but um, that's pretty much what the sale price is here after 30% off, but I have a 10% discount too, so this will knock it down to pretty much around the same price it is on Amazon, so um, yeah, I'm definitely going to be picking this up. Check this out, they got the Pittsburgh Steelers 2023 NFL Draft hat here. Uh, $37.99. I think this is the wrong size for me. I need to get, like, a large, extra large, which might be in here. I'd have to dig in there, but, um, the draft's coming up Thursday night. The Steelers get four picks in the first 80, in the first 80 picks, so it'll be very interesting to see what they do, especially with the first two picks. They get the pick number 17 and pick 32, which is the first one for night number two. Definitely looking forward to see what they do here. All right, so I got a little bit of time left before my movie, so... What better place to go to for last for the day, for, for at least for right now, than Time and Space, Toy Collectible Place. Let's go inside and see if they got anything. This place has gotten a little bit of an update since the last time I was in here, so... I don't know, maybe we'll find something in here. I'm on the red poster, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Triple X poster. Strange Day Standy. Let's say what they want for it. That could be interesting. What could have been? Got these frozen lithographs here. That's pretty cool. Straight from the Walt Disney Animation Studios. A small sort of movies here. The Goonies, the Barefoot Executive, Babe still with the packaging. Rudolph, Goosebumps, The Grinch, Computer War Tennis Shoes, Kurt Russell, Andy Griffith, Harry Potter, It's a Wonderful Life, Enter the Dragon, In the Line of Fire, Family Man, Another Flash Dance, 10 bucks, The Firm, Meet the parents. Some other Christmas stuff over there. Look at some of the stuff they have over here. Bugs Bunny cookie jar, 101 Dalmatians, Beetlejuice, old Simpsons toys, Angry Beavers. I didn't know they had Angry Beavers toys. That's, that's real cool. 60 bucks though. I think I'm gonna wait on that one. But that's pretty cool to see they had the Angry Beaver stores. I didn't even knew they had those. We got Harry and the Hendersons, Flintstone Kids, lots of Jack Skellingtons. There is a lot of cool stuff here. Jesse Ventura, Vanna White, Ludo from Animal House, Mash Vodka, old Superman toy. There's a lot of cool stuff here. 
So yeah, that was pretty interesting. I did not expect to see an Angry Beavers plush toy from back when the show came out. I know there's some now, over 20, almost 30 years later, but I don't remember there being a lot of toys for the Angry Beavers. I know there was ones for Cat Dog and SpongeBob and maybe Hey Arnold, but not the Angry Beavers. But that was interesting to see. But for 60 bucks, I'm going to hold off on it. Maybe I can find it somewhere cheaper, but um, I've already spent enough money today. Plus, I have to get going because... We're about on, on our way to the movie theater so I can go see the Super Mario Brothers movie. Still got the train out here even though Easter is over. And there over there is what we're going to see today. Super Mario Brothers movie. We've waited a long time for this. Let's do this. Hard to believe that's only six weeks away. Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Summer's coming up fast. Flash. Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1. Little Mermaid. Indiana Jones. There's kind of a reason why I'm going through these. is because tomorrow night I'm actually going to be recording a preview podcast for the summer movie season. Talking about the movies I'm looking forward to this summer. These two will definitely be on the list, not book club. But here we go. After two weeks of waiting, Super Mario Brothers. Let's go. The calm before the storm. Large fries and snack bar. I would definitely get a pretzel. Crowd started to come in. And one of the most tracks ice. Like one ticket credit every month that rolls over. You can even share them with friends and family. So as you can tell by this little setup here, we're at our next destination, and that is Half Price Books. I think it was actually five years ago, no, six years ago this week, I found Bebe's Kids inside of Half Price Books, the original release, which was out of print for the longest period of time. But look at this now. $7.99. I think I paid 25 bucks for the original release of this. When did this one come out? 2017. Huh. That's interesting. But I already got this on DVD and Blu-ray, so no real reason to t get that again. Uh, just going to keep looking here, see if we can find anything. It's a cool Edward Scissors slip cover for $4.49. When did this one come out? Also 2017, too. It's nice. Probably not going to get it, though. Let's see what else we can find here. We got Envy. That's coming out on Blu-ray pretty soon. Looking forward to getting that from Shout Factory. This year's Oscar winner for only five bucks. That's actually not that bad for that. I don't know. I might actually get another copy of this movie. I really like this movie a lot. I'll keep it in the pile for now. Well, Kimmy Schmidt may be unbreakable, but um, unfortunately her box set is not. Good lord, who does this kind of thing, honestly? Oh my god, shining through. This is almost good enough to just buy because of how bad it is. I mean, the try my strudel line alone makes this movie worth it. And for two bucks, I don't know. I think I might pull the trigger on this just because of that. This movie is notoriously bad for a number of reasons, specifically that scene alone. I don't know, I think I might have to pull the trigger on this one. Alright, so after doing some digging, I actually found some stuff here I might be picking up. Uh, this original E.T. book novel for $5. This Back to the Future book for $10. Just look at how cool that is. Like, you can definitely tell that this is an old book, but this was probably the coolest find I've found so far. Movie uh, is a book, a map of the movie star's homes, which is from, gotta be from like the mid-80s, because you've got Eddie Murphy, Madonna, Michael J. Fox... Barbara Streisand, Paul Newman. Still in the packaging, too, for $5. So those things I am definitely going to pick my pick up because those are actually pretty cool. This stuff over here, I'm still debating on. I found this. Mean Streets, the original video release from Warner Bros. It was from back in 1985. I think I can get some money for that one. I can probably get money for this, too. The Grudge 2 on DVD Steelbook. It's going for $3 now here. But everything in here is intact. If I can get the thing open. There we go. DVDs are in here. It's a Best Buy exclusive too. 
So that's kind of something I could probably get to sell. This I'm getting just for laughs. Shining through for $2. It's a so bad it's good movie. I love how horrible, horrible this movie is. Uh, I don't have a physical copy of this. Winning to exhale for $3. Doesn't have the, car the uh, paper inside of it, but it still has a DVD in here. I don't have a copy of this on DVD or physical media or any type. I think I'm going to get that. I have to check and see if I have any of these on DVD because I have some seasons of Homeland. I don't know how many seasons I have, though. I might have this one already, season five. I know I don't have season six, and I know I don't have season seven, which I think is the last season. But those are going to be $10 each, so I might get those. I might not. I might get this as well, Romancing the Stone and the Jewel of the Nile, double features there for $6. That's another one I don't have on DVD. And then Everything Everywhere All at Once for $5 on DVD. Uh, why not? It's $5. It's a newer movie. This movie, I don't think, is even a year old. Well, technically now it is a year old, but still for $5, man. That's too good of a deal to pass up on for a, new, for a newer movie. So, as you can see, I've got some decisions to make here. That is pretty creepy. As is that one. And on that positive note, we're back home now, and I have two packages here that I got in the mail as I got home. And uh, we're going to open these bad boys up because I know what these are, and one of them is, is, is relevant to this shirt I'm wearing. So, uh, let's go ahead and open this first one up. I honestly didn't know what I ordered until I realized that I knew exactly what it was after I, after I thought about it for a second. So, let's see how quickly I can get this open. And by quickly, I mean real slowly because, you know, the... You know how it is with these. I try to get them open as quick as I can, and this just takes up a lot of dead air time, as it's go as it's doing right now. Come on. Well, this is going to take a while. To paraphrase Robert Loge on Family Guy, eight effing hours later, this is what I knew came in there. The Conjuring 7 film collection, the Warner Brothers 100th slipcover, the one from Walmart, this actually comes from Canada, so that's why you have that sticker right there. But um, this is the one that they sell at Walmart. And this is one of the other sets I was looking to get my hands on. I haven't been to Walmart yet since the I got back, so I'm looking forward to getting back there soon to see if they have the other ones I'm looking for. But you get all the Conjuring movies, the Annabelle movies, The Nun, and also the latest Conjuring film, The Devil Made Me Do It, which I do not own. So now I now have it on DVD, so... So there you go. That is one of the uh, slip cup, one of the new DVDs I got in the mail. That's the first of the two packages here. Excuse me. Uh, let's go ahead and open up the second one. And this one should not take eight hours to do. I just can't. It didn't take me eight hours to open up that first one. And oh yes, indeed, this is exactly what I've been waiting for. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have yet another copy of. Cocainum. There. Yes, I told you I'm going to overuse that joke throughout the course of this video. Cocaine Bear, the Blu-ray. I got it in the mail today. I ordered it on Macari on Monday night for $17. I know it was $24 at Best Buy. Or $23. I'm sorry, $23 at Best Buy. So, saved 6 bucks on it, pretty much, including, t including tax. So, this only came out to about... It's after shipping and taxing, it came to about 20 bucks. So I basically paid the same amount I would have paid at Best Buy. But um, I wanted to make sure I got this in time to show you guys this. Cocaine Bear on Blu-ray. But of course, we're not done with Mr. Cocaine Bear because we also got the on DVD as well. Um, I got the Cocaine Bear DVD only for 15 bucks after my discount. It was originally... After... It was originally 18... Okay, it wasn't $15. My mistake. This is actually eighteen eighty nine after the... 30% off discount and my 10% discount, so it came down to about 18 to 89 overall. But um, I picked this up. Like I said, Cocaine Bear is one of my favorite movies of the year, my second favorite movie of the year so far, honestly. And uh, you got to double dip on the Cocaine Bear because you just have to. It's just that good of a movie. It delivers everything it promises in the title alone. And like I said, you got to deliver. You got to pick up as many copies as you can. No 4K for this, but uh, I'm pretty sure that's going to come when Shout Factory eventually puts it out. I've just, it's, I've begun to realize that Universal, if they're not putting a 4K out of a specific movie, chances are it's going to become a Screen Factory or a Shout Factory release, 4K release down the road. So I just figured that out. So, 
Oh, copies of Cocaine Bear right there. This was probably the biggest surprise of the day for me, finding this in stores. I was not expecting to find this in stores, but Duck Dodgers, the complete series for $35, basically paying the same price I would have paid on Amazon for it. But I found it in stores. It was incredible to see that it was actually in stores. Picked it up right away. Couldn't pass that up. So there you go. Those are the pickups from Barnes & Noble. Let's move on to Best Buy next. I mean, like I said before, you pretty much saw everything that I got at Best Buy. I got the Stitch plush with him wearing the bra as under his ears and looking like a superhero from the end of the movie. Um, I don't really need to explain that one all that much. But um, everything else in here, you pretty much already saw, including, including but not limited to, uh, Rick and Morty Season 6 on Steelbook, Rebel Without a Cause, uh, cool hand loop, which I opened and put the disc back in. It was the 4K disc that was making that shaking noise. But as you can tell now, it ain't making that noise anymore. Uh, Flash Dance, the regular 4K release. And that should lead me into some of the other pickups I got over the past week. Because it starts off with, past couple of weeks I should say, uh, Flash Dance, the 4K Steelbook. They had a ton of them at Best Buy, which is actually pretty interesting because... Uh, the Bluetuber videos I've seen, their Best Buys have been pretty much sold out of them, but there's still plenty of copies at mine, so if you want to go get them, go get them there. The Halloween End Steel Book is also there, too, which is another one that's also not a, a lot of Best Buys, but there's that. This was interesting because I thought this was coming out in May, but it turns out it's the 4K version, the Steel Book version of this that's coming out in May. The regular Blu-ray version of Star Trek Strange New World Season 1 on Steel Book is out now, and I have that in my hands here. Uh, just a fantastic show. One of my favorite shows from last year. The Star Trek series on Paramount Plus have been really, really damn good. I gotta say that. There have been very rarely any few duds from the Star Trek series that have been on Paramount Plus, which very much, you can, which is interesting when you consider what Star Wars under Disney has been doing. And I still think Star Wars has been better under Disney, but there's been a couple more misfires than there have been mostly great shows compared to what Star Trek has been doing. Uh, next up, we have Blue's Big City Adventure, the Blue's Clues movie that has all the Blue's Clues people involved. I actually did a review for this this week. I'll put a link to that in the corner on my web on my website where I did the review for this. It's a pretty fun movie. If you grew up with Blue's Clues, any generation of Blue's Clues, you can definitely find a lot to enjoy about this movie. It's fun. Kids will love it. Adults who grew up with the show will love it as well. Highly recommend checking this out. It's also on Paramount+. Plus. I only paid 14 bucks for this on Mercari. This is another Walmart exclusive that they had on there. John Wick chapters 1 through 3 with the playing cards. This Blu-ray DVD set. 14 bucks for all three movies here. I couldn't pass that up. John Wick. John Wick, man. These steel books, these box sets that keep coming out, they're always going to be something that's worth buying from them. And this was no exception. For 14 bucks, I couldn't pass up on that. That was a really damn good deal on that. So that's the John Wick set. I should mention a couple of other Disney 100 titles that I got a couple weeks ago that I didn't get to show you until now. The Volume 2 Mickey and Friends 10 Classic Short Set. This is a Disney Movie Club exclusive, so I got it off of uh, eBay, and it came last week when I got back. And I didn't get to show it in my video before. Uh, so there you go. You got that. You got some of the shorts that are on there featuring Mickey and the gang. But then this came actually before I left for vacation. I never got to show it off to you, but... Um, the Disney Movie Club Cinderella 4K Special Edition. The Ultimate Collector's Edition with the 4K, the Blu-ray, the DVD. Just a gorgeous looking set, man. One of my favorite Disney movies of all time. Classic film. Great slipcover overall. And uh, this doesn't hit stores until later this summer. So I'm caught up right now on the Disney 100 sets. Uh, Star Wars comes out not this Tuesday, but the next Tuesday. So... When I get those in, I will definitely show them off to you. So let's go ahead and keep looking through some of the stuff I got. So next up, I got a shirt from JCPenney. I went in there for a little bit, didn't record anything, but when I went in there, I wasn't expecting too much, but I found this little beauty right here. Look at that. Oh, it turned, I have it behind, I have it the wrong way. Check that out. Miles Morales, the Spider-Man logo t-shirt. Had to get my hands on this one. It was 18 bucks. Had to get this for the new Spider-Man movie, Across the Spider-Verse, which, like I said before, it's amazing we're only six weeks away from that coming out. So I'm really looking forward to checking that one out. And like I said before, I'm going to do a summer movie preview podcast coming up tomorrow. So be on the lookout for that late Sunday night into Monday morning because that'll be when it comes out. But um, when J.C. JCPenney got this shirt, looking forward to wearing it in June when the movie comes out. I showed off the Steelers 2023 NFL Draft hat and... I bought one for myself. I, of course, I have to get a new one because of Thursday. 
Hey, look. I think it's a nice looking draft hat. I'm really looking forward to see who the Steelers end up picking with the first of their two pi two picks and the first 32 overall picks because they got the 17th one, like I said. And then they start night two on Friday with pick number 32. So I'm really looking forward to see what they do there. And uh, I figure keeping up with the trend here. So there's the Steeler hat. You pretty much got to see everything I picked up at Half Price Books. I pretty much picked up everything that I saw in there except for the things I put back. I'll show you the things that I didn't show you. Um, let me see. Where are they at? Shut that off. I'll show these off here. These Transformer Target exclusive sets. They were $5 each. This is the first one with Optimus Prime. And these are supposed to transform into the into the characters that, themselves. And uh, that's $4.99. This one is for Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. That was also $4.99. I found them when I was looking through the DVD section one last time. And I figured, why not pick these up? So, there's those. And then the other thing I didn't show you was this. Boston, the C CD for 1976 for $2. And I picked this up mostly because it features some of my favorite songs on here. More Than a Feeling and Foreplay and Long Time. So, I picked that up. Got a CD for it. Two bucks. Couldn't pass that up. So... Those are the things I didn't show you inside of there. Plus, I got the tote bag for free because they're doing a thing where you buy $25 worth of stuff. You get a free Half Price Books tote bag for the next two weeks up until May 6th, I think. But other than that, that's pretty much everything I picked up this week. I picked up some stuff at the consignment sale where you saw the Mickey and Minnie car seats for, that I'm going to try to sell online. So I'm not going to show those off here. You can go check out my eBay site for that. But um, other than that, that's everything I picked up. So... Uh, that's it. So thank you very much for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys later tonight for another talking about for a time about the movies. And then tomorrow I'll have a full review of the Super Mario Brothers movie for talking about the movies. And uh, that's pretty much gonna do it. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. And until then, I'm gonna do the joke one last time. If I can get the DVDs to act, if I can get these to actually come together, there we go. <laughs> Take care, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Cocaine, bad.